Hey guys, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge. When I was growing up, I lived near a creek and I did an awful lot of fishing. And, you know, through my teen years, a lot. A little bit less when I was an adult. When I lived in northern Manitoba, where the pickerel fishing, walleye, is awesome. Did a bunch of fishing there. Ice fishing, summer fishing, whatever fishing you want. And what you need when you're fishing is you need a good knife to clean your critter. Now this is a big, <laughs> over nine inch long blade on uh, a knife by Buck Knives. This is part of their Clearwater series. And they've got a knife with, oops, don't put, <laughs> this is a sharp edge here, spine. I'm used to running my fingers along spines, but no, there's a cutting edge here. Uh, this one is 12C27M stainless steel. Uh, they've got this very same knife in a six inch. And then they got both of those knives uh, with red handles with uh, 420 high carbon steel blades. And then they've got a more budget line with 420J2 blades. I don't really recommend those. I really recommend this 12C27M or the 420J, uh, sorry, the 420HC, not the J. And the prices are relatively close between the two. And uh, I'm very happy to say that Amazon's price has come down to match the sale price that Buck was selling this at on their website. So this was $35 on the Buck website. It's now $35 on Amazon.com, or you can save a little bit to get the shorter one. Uh, this big long one, this is for people that are catching big fish. And this knife is going to one of my Patreon supporters who won my uh, draw of Knife of the Month. And, um, and he's basically a fisherman. He loves watching my channel and stuff, but he's basically a fisherman. So I decided that I was going to give him a nice filleting knife. And that's where this is coming in. So today we're taking a look at this nine plus inch filleting knife by Buck with Sandvik 12C27M stainless steel. Stick around. Uh, this is pretty much all the room I have. Uh, my table just ends just beside here and just beside here, so this is what we've got. Let's talk about the sheath first. This is an injection molded uh, nylon, and uh, it's a good, high quality sheath. Lots of little holes in here to allow for evaporation of any water. Complete hole down at the bottom there, so drainage if it needs to. You've got a big slot here to put a belt through and you've got a hole there so you could put a loop through this way or you got a hole here so you can put a loop through this way if you want to and there's a another spot right there that you could tie something off or onto it as well nice lanyard hole here on this full tang blade it's just you can't see the tang here but obviously you can here so you can tie off a lanyard here as well the light blue it's called ice blue is a rubber a tpe type rubber soft injection molded it's not super soft but you know it has some give to it and then the dark gray part is a stiffer harder plastic uh, the model number that they just use on the blade is 028 the full model number is 0028 bls1 dash b and that's for this nine inch version and as you can see on this side, it says on the website that is 12C27, but here it clearly says it is 12C27M. And I looked it up, and the M is just a little bit of extra carbon, not carbon, just a little bit extra chromium, if I remember correctly, just to keep it even more stain resistant or corrosion resistant than it is. And the gentleman who's getting this really likes uh, saltwater fishing. And so I figured this was a really good choice for him. Now the handle is very comfortable uh, for many different sizes of hands. I like having the rubber here. Very nice, good grip. And if you prefer the other steel, you know, it comes in sort of a black and red, but the exact same shape and everything. Very, very comfortable on this finger choil right here. And, um, like I said before, this section here is sharpened on the back. So it's a tricky knife to sharpen if you're a sharpener, but uh, I can sharpen this thing up 
on my systems and that works just fine. The full thickness of the blade, you know, back here and up to there, it terminates all the way up to the spine. So it gets a little bit thinner right away. So when I measured the thickness, I measured it over here where it's over top of the cutting edge. You know, nice little sharpness tool there. So it's easy to sharpen to the end without making a big mess. I'll show you this before I put this part away. It clicks in, you heard that click, but it's loose. So there is a click. It's not a super click, but it does click into place. So you've got a nice safety feature with the guard that's on here. So I'm not gonna do any cut demonstrations because when I found out that I had gout, uh, it's a form of arthritis, but it's triggered by a number of things. One of the things that triggers my gout is fish. And so unfortunately I no longer eat fish and so we don't fillet fish anymore. So I'm not gonna do a cut demonstration with this, but I will do a little bit of a demonstration of the steel. So as you can see, it's a nice flexible steel. This 12C27M works very well. So it's really good for cutting. You know, you can you know flatten it and bring it along an edge. And this is, I got my whole fist underneath the handle here and you can just flatten that edge. That whole section there is touching the table. So really good steel, really good flexibility. What do we have? Well, the cutting edge from where my thumb is to the tip of the blade is 24.1 centimeters. That's 9.49 inches. So a nine and a half inch cutting edge. And um, the blade thickness and about an inch down from the handle is point, no, the blade thickness about an inch down from the handle is 1.35 millimeters. That's 0 0.053 inches. So very nice and thin. That's where you get the flexibility from. And the blade depth this way is 1.88 centimeters at the largest point, and it goes down to nothing at the tip. <laughs> That's uh, three quarters of an inch right there, just under. The uh, thickness of the steel behind the grind right there is 0.52 millimeters. Excellent, perfect. I like it to be about half a millimeter there. Uh, maybe for a filleting knife, you'd want it to be a little bit thinner, and it does have spots where it's thinner closer to the edge. So that's nice. So it slowly gets thinner like that. Uh, oh, in Imperial, that's 0 0.0205 inches. Now the grind angle, the grind angle on this side that says buck, the grind angle is 12.6 degrees on this side. And on this side, the grind angle is 18.3 degrees. So when it was sharpened, it's clearly been sharpened on two different angles there. And the angle does change a little bit as it's going down the blade. So, um, you know, the factory edge is sharp and it cuts well. As we can see here, let's do a push cut. And let's see if I can cut with the tip of the blade here on the back of the blade, I should say. It's not quite as sharp on the back of the blade, but I will make it so, but it's sharp enough to do some cutting. And then there's that little bit of an edge there too. So definitely a good knife. How much does this thing cost? It's around $35 US for the nine inch version. And unfortunately the shorter version is, you know, a tiny bit more. <laughs> kind of funny, but it is. Um, and uh, the 420 high carbon steel version is about $51 for the six inch and $58 for this nine and a half inch. So this one being $35 and 12 cents from Amazon is the perfect choice. I'd rather have this Sandvik 12 C 27 M than 420 high carbon any day. Um, it's a really good steel and they've done a good job making this knife except for I wish they would have done a bit better edge, uh, the final grind on the cutting edge. You know, it's workable, but uh, for the long term, you're gonna want a little bit better edge than that yet. Now, the, remember, this is the spine of the blade, this back edge, which is why it's thicker behind the grind. That's why it doesn't cut quite as good, but it is good to have a back edge for some cutting. So that's my video. I like it. It's a good choice, feels good. Super light. Oh, I didn't tell you the weight. 105 grams, 
3.75 ounces for this nine <laughs> over nine inch cutting edge. That's pretty good. Everything combined is 153 grams, 5.4 ounces. So it's not going to add a whole lot to uh, the weight that you're carrying around. And uh, you know, if you want to, you can even play fencing with this thing. Oh, short, short sword. <laughs> Just getting around. Don't do that unless you're well protected <laughs> or you've taken this edge and you filed it dull. Uh, so there you go. Uh, here it says BOS on here. This is made in the United States. USA, it says right there. Uh, so really, for the price, I don't think you can beat this. So thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Remember, always cut towards the fish and not yourself. Bye now. <laughs>